Good morning, today we're making a cow fat pit. The idea is to use um, micro elements, in this case basalt rock and from some burnt eggshells. And we'll use the bacteria from the rumen of a lactating cow that will digest this material, releasing the micronutrients. And then we can use it as a swirl spray. So what we'll be doing is we'll be putting out the basalt rock on the cow dung. Fresh cow dung from this morning with the eggshells. And we'll mix that thoroughly through the stock of the cow, which is now expressed in the dung, to digest those micronutrients and make it plant available. Uh, for us to do that, we use some biodynamic preparations. This one is the nettle, uh, the nettle preparation. The nettle preparation breaks up iron in the soil, creating a more porous soil. Uh, if you have less compacted iron, uh, you also have a lot more earthworm activity. So we'll add the valerium preparation. Push that down in there. Um, then for the calcium, we added the, the eggshells, but we also use the oak bark preparation. Now the oak bark itself is full of calcium. Wonderful to have in your preparation. It attracts a lot of microbes. And then silica. Silica is the building blocks of the material, the cells, the cellulose. Um, and the dandelion is a plant that can take the silica out of the atmosphere and bind it in its, in, the, in its plant cells. And when it dies, it releases it again. So full of silica. There goes our silica from the dandelions. And now because we have got a lot of micronutrients from the basalt rock, we need a preparation that can work with, with allowing uh, the microbes to digest the material, uh, uh, releasing the micronutrients, make it more plant available. And therefore we need a light element plant, and that would be yarrow. So this is a preparation made from yarrow. It goes in there, push it down. And now because the cow dung has quite a bit of nitrogen in it, and nitrogen can uh, be unstable, it can uh, also uh, funguses and, and anaerobes can sort of take over. You need a preparation that can work with sulfur and work with phosphorus and stabilize um, uh, the nitrogen in, in the cow dung. And therefore we use uh, the chamomile. It creates a more harmonious atmosphere but also more stable conditions for the microbes to work in. All right, pat that down. Thank you, my stop. So here we've got uh, valerium juice made from a valerian flower. If you smell this, it's quite pungent. It, uh, it smells almost like uh, beef stock. <laughs> but what this uh, preparation does, is a, it's a light element plant. Um, it guides the phosphorus process um, in the compost. It allows light element to come in, creating uh, a very uh, aerobic conditions. It also guides the sulfur processes, so it's, it, it, uh, it really um, gives it a shelf life, if you want to, do, if you want to call it that. Um, and it stabilizes the whole thing, keeps it aerobic, stops anaerobic bacteria from growing, and uh, yeah, which allows this product to, you can store it for a very long time. Um, we'll use a branch and just sort of on a droplet size, just get the valerium to soak into the preparation like this. Make sure that we dust everything down. There we go. That should be enough. And you can really smell that valerium. It is really strong. Uh, can't even smell the cow dung now. Now cow dung, fresh cow dung is antiseptic. So I've got no problem working with my hands in this. And then when we've patted it down, the valerian will go down into the preparation, allowing the light forces to go in. Uh, but to guide the phosphorus, bring in the bit of the sulfur, stabilize everything. And then we'll use the wet hessian bags. Here. Sort of make it here. Sorry, here. And we'll just cover this in the wet hessian bag to keep everything moist and cool. And within one month, the cow pet pit would have been broken down 
into this very spongy substance uh, full of uh, organic uh, um, aerobic bacteria, mycorrhizal funguses. It's got all the biodynamic preparations in there. And then you'll spray this at about one kilogram per hectare, about three or four, four times a year, which will really help build the humus in the soils in the vineyards. Good morning, everybody. Today I am literally standing on top of the world. I'm on Waterkloof, 300 meters above sea level. Uh, it is a descending moon phase, so at the moment we're going to be putting out our biodynamic preparations. And uh, to do the biodynamic preparations, we are using our flow form. So you can see the water gets pumped up to these shells. It flows down, all the way down into the tank. It gets oxygenated and pumped all the way back in. And what that does is it energizes the bacteria and the microbes. It energizes the water so that uh, when we put out these microbes nice and early in the morning on a droplet size, like a raindrop size, uh, then the pull of the earth actually pulls these microbes into the soil. Uh, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One is using a branch and a bucket and you would just dab it and spray it. But uh, we find our horses quite sufficient at doing this job. Um, the horse will work at about 3.8 kilometers an hour. Just a normal sprayer head at the back. And there we go. Nicely putting out microbes onto the soil. Uh, these microbes will digest all the straw and organic matter and build some nice carbon for us. So that's what we're busy with uh, today and uh, a lovely day to be working out in the vineyards. All right.